My original plan today was to come out on the kayak and float the river and hit some spots for some smallmouth bass. But upon noticing it, the river is dried up in certain areas. So I'm just gonna come to this first spot, drop my kayak in, fish this area, and then we're gonna put the kayak away and then just basically walk down the river and just find some holes. We're gonna be a lot, we're gonna do a lot of moving around today to try to find these fish. It's gonna be a really tough day, but hopefully we can land some fish. All right, guys. Here we go. We're gonna try to make our way through this, I don't know, vegetation here that's dying out, an algae. And we're gonna make our way to a food source for these fish. Try to catch some smallmouth bass. Once I get past these weeds and go around them, we'll be cruising along nicely. But we just gotta get past these weeds first into that open calm water. And you can see the dam right there. That's the tiny dam. I'm just gonna go outside of these weeds. We're gonna go straight to our first spot. And maybe afterwards, if on the way back, we might fish this outer ridge. The water is extremely milky. It is stained like chocolate milk. I got my bait caster here, and I'm gonna start off with a Christie crawl. Texas rig style and I'm just gonna throw that around and see what happens see if there's any fish waiting to eat it's a little bit later than I would like to like to have started as usual so it's about 11 o'clock and it's gonna get really hot today I was trying to get out here in the morning but I just was running late so I'm gonna paddle up here actually I'm just gonna stay right here and then um, I'm just gonna See if I can work these weed line and then I'll work myself into where the water dumps in. I don't know where these fish are and I don't want to spook them. I want to catch them wherever they may be. I don't want to go straight into that moving water. Oh no, are you serious? I should have checked that. That's exactly how my day's been going. That's why I'm out late on the water. I just couldn't get Nothing's going right. So I'm gonna have to retie. You know what? I also got my spinning combo right here. And this bait, I love this bait. I always catch smallmouth on the river with this bait right here. This, I believe, is a local bait. I, I look everywhere and I can't find this bait. But this thing right here is a smallmouth bass slayer for sure they got different colors but as you can see it's basically a curly tail grub on a jig head plus the top of the jig head has it's covered and has like a little skirt going on this thing always kills it man so we'll try that and that's the only one I got so I better not lose this one Yeah, see that I hit the tree the bushes luckily I didn't get snagged all right guys let's get closer check this out so I go to paddle back into these weeds so I didn't get carried down river and I look over and look, look what we have here. That's my Christie crawl that I, I, I lost. <laughs> yes, I hate losing baits and gear, so 
I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that real quick. Oh look, there's a bunch of snails on this stuff too. There's my bait. I don't see the the weight anywhere. It probably went down in the in the river. But yep, there's my bait. My Christy crawl. Save some bait right here. That's cool. That brightens the day a little bit. Still no fish yet though. We're gonna give this spot an hour and then we're just gonna move on. There's too many other spots to explore to be wasting time at one spot. Even though it looks really good, you just gotta make that tough choice as a fisherman. And if you're not getting bites, switch, switch up your lures, change your tactics, and if you're still not getting bites, don't waste too much time and move on. You gotta find where the fish are at. Even though I know there's fish here, they might not just, they just might not be active right now. All right, guys, I said, let's move on to another spot. So I was putting my kayak away, and I noticed when I flipped it over to dry it off before I put it in the truck that there's some things on it. There's, like, snails and slugs and all kinds of weird bugs on the bottom of my kayak. I flicked a bunch of them off so far, but there's still some on here. There's some little ones right there, if you can see them. Little tiny ones. But those are the little ones I haven't gotten yet. There was bigger ones on here and like little slug type deals. See that guy right there? That's some kind of like little slug. But there are bigger ones and bigger snails. There was more on there, but I flicked most of them off. So I know there's like um, a concern with watercrafts and transporting invasive species. So I'm gonna finish cleaning that up and then load the kayak and then we will go to another spot and see if we can get some fish. Okay guys, I'm currently on the other side of the dam that I was fishing and this spot right here is all but almost dried up um it's a very low part of the river down river more there's more water so we're just going to keep hopping from spot to spot and we're going to target we're going to try to find some deep holes see where these fish are held up this time of year can be very difficult to fish for these smallmouth bass because like i said the water's low and it's pretty pretty dried up but it can also be very good fishing because the water's low so it isolates some of these fishes into some of these pools and if you find the right pools you can find some fish but I know there's like fish jumping in this little area and they're contained they're stranded here I believe they're really small fish but we're gonna try to get one and get the day started get the mojo going so let's see what kind of fish are in here Alright guys, let's try a top water. I think this is a popper. So there's only top water that I have. We'll give this a shot.
Got one. Oh. We got a little bit of action. We got a little bit of action, but I think they're small ones. Oh. Check it out. There he goes. That's the first smallie of the day on the crappie tube jig. He's skinny. I thought he was actually, I thought he was, I would I was guessing it was a nine, but I actually measured him and he comes out to be 12 inches. That was a legal keeper, but I don't know. This fish, likelihood of surviving, not very good. So I think I'm gonna keep this fish actually. The water is so low right now, these fish are trapped in here. And it's only gonna get lower because the temperatures are rising. So likelihood of these fishes surviving in here, not very good. All right guys, that was awesome. First smallmouth of the day. I will admit, it's not as exciting as a top water, but I will take it nonetheless because I've been out here for a while. Let's see what else we got in this little puddle. Got another one. Fish on, guys. I think he's smaller. Yeah, this guy's smaller. Another fish. How exciting is this? Fish number two. Another small one. Smaller. There you go. Check them out. Small mouth number two. On the crappie tube again. This guy, I'm gonna put back. Wish I could toss him on the other side of the dam, but. All right guys, we got those two smallmouth bass, but I'm not getting any more bites, and I'm kind of excited to see what else we can figure out down river. So let's head down river, see if we can find some more holes, some more smallmouth, let's see what happens. I'm trying to work my way along down the river on the bank. There's a lot of rocks, a lot of moss. It's dried up. I'm trying to get my footing here without falling. But I'm a few hundred yards down river from where I was fishing at, where I caught those two smallmouth bass. And I want to show you guys. Check it out. See how low this river is. That's the river right there. Back there is where we were fishing. So, the river's really low. Up there, there's more river. Gets more water. But right here is just basically a tiny little creek allowing just enough water to get down to the river. Over here on this side. This fork of the river, it's just Oh, is that a frog? Heck yeah, we might have to come for frogs. Yep, we got frogs, but they're small. That right there is the other fork of the river where it splits, and that's just dried up moss with frogs in it, apparently. Ooh. There's fish in here, they're going to be hungry. There we go, hooked up, first cast. First cast, guys. And we're over there wasting our time in the little puddles. Oh, I think he just spit it, yep, he spit it. He spit the hook, but that, 
that is promising on the first cast we got hooked up gonna fish around right here for a little bit there's tons of mosquitoes so many mosquitoes I had to oh so many mosquitoes I had to put I had to pretty much bathe in off right now I am so hot and sweaty, so this water is really stagnant, it's not moving, I don't see much moving water, I'm not having any luck, so what I think I'm going to do is we're going to get back in the truck, get some AC, cool down a little bit, travel down river, I know some other spots, so let's hit those up and see if we can catch some more fish. Okay folks, I have found some moving water, it's a little bit deeper, and I also know another spot where the water dumps into the river and I think we'll have luck there so that's where I'm gonna go right now I got cooled off in the AC rehydrated it hey boy it's still hot out here though don't get it wrong it's still hot but now I gotta cross <clears throat> I gotta cross this river real quick to get up to my spot hopefully we don't fall in A little bit below my knees right now. To my knees. And we're, oh, past my knees. Coming out of it. Woo, got safe. All right, let's get up to a spot. Um, this is another spot where the water dumps in from like a canal or something. And the fish just stack up and wait for that meal. I want to share a little something with you guys. This is really a special river for me because this is actually where I started fishing as a youngster. This is where I cut my teeth on bass fishing, smallmouth bass, and that's what I do. I just come down to this river all day long and just fish for smallmouth. Just fish, fish, fish. I would constantly just go down this river, wade this river, fish it, hit all the spots hit all the holes, try to learn the river as best I could. I, I literally would sit at one hole for hours and just fish it. I knew there was a fish in there and I had to catch them. So it brings back a lot of memories. But I'm back here again and let's see if I can still figure this river out and these holes and see if I can catch a smallmouth out of here. So let's do it. I'm gonna start off with the Christie Crawl. Fish on, first cast. First, first cast. We got a fish. Yes, I knew this. I knew this spot would. I knew this spot would be money. Get him in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check it. Nice smallmouth bass right there. Right on the Christy crawl. Boom. That was freaking amazing. First cast right there where the water drains in. That's a money hole right there.
You guys hear that? Man, there's people shooting down here. That just irritates the heck out of me, man. There's a young kid over there firing off rounds on his rifle towards the river. Just, it's so reckless. If you were that guy out here, man, don't be doing that. Don't be shooting out here by the river. There's fishermen down here. There's people enjoying the river and you're just gonna be shooting reckless. Anyways, it is that time. I'm running out of daylight. I ran out of day. I am going to prepare my fish and I'm gonna make dinner. Let's do it. I am so hungry and it's gonna be good. I was thinking about it and normally I just eat, you know, a breaded, breaded fish sandwich, but I'm gonna throw a little twist on it and see how it turns out. I'm pretty excited. So I got my bass fillets right here. I'm gonna bread that in this Louisiana Cajun spicy fish fry. It's got the spice added to it, so we'll see how good that is. But Louisiana, one of my favorite breadings for a while now, so I'm gonna go with this guy. It's so easy, all you do is get your fish fillets and basically just add the breading. You don't have to do egg wash, anything else like that. Just simple, add this in, good to go. And it gives a, a good crisp, crispy fish. Our breading at our fish. <coughs> oh, spicy. Oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful fillet. Check it out guys, I got me a camping fork and spoon. Look at me. <laughs> uh oh, I burned it. Nope, there you go, that's good. That is done, look at that. I also got me, along with the, along with the knife, fork, and spoon set, camping set, I also got me a dinner plate. Okay, so we're gonna put our fish on this plate for now. And the same oil, we're gonna do the last ingredient, an egg. Put a little cavender seasoning on it. Some pepper. See if I can flip it. Oh yeah. It is flipped. Oh, it broke. Okay, it's time to assemble. What I got here is a uh, Brijon bun. I think that's what it's, how it's pronounced, Brijon bun. But we're gonna do that for our bun here. So let me get one of those real quick. Look at that bad boy. That looks amazing. Nice and soft. That's gonna be good. Okay, next. We got our, gee, I wish, I wish I had a butter knife. Oh wait, I do got one. A camping knife, look at that. How handy is that? <laughs> New knife to save the day. Get some mayo on here. I don't know about you guys, but I am a two-sided mayor. Mayor-er? Mayor-er? Anyways, I mayo both sides of my bun. That's how I roll. Some mustard. Actually, we're gonna put our fish on next. Look at all that fish goodness right there. Then, next, we're gonna put some fresh veggies. Fresh tomato, I already got cut. Boom. 
two tomato slices. And I got some, um, I believe this is romaine lettuce. Gotta have, gotta have that crunch, man. On a good fish sandwich, you have to have that lettuce crunch. Boom, right on there. Actually, should I do two? No, let's do one. Gotta have it. We're gonna finish this off with some mustard. Just some yellow mustard. Boom. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna throw a little twist on it. I actually should have put it on my fish, then the fresh vegetables, but this will still work. Now let's add our fried egg. Fried egg. Boom. Look at that. <clears throat> we got our Brijon bun, some mayo, breaded fish right here, lettuce, actually tomato, lettuce, fried egg, mustard, and right on top. Look at that. That's going to be so amazing. Look at that egg is just, can you see that? The egg is just dripping. That's going to be so amazing. Let's eat. Cheers, guys. Mm. So good. Right away, I got a hit of that mustard and that smallmouth bass in that Louisiana breading it's got a little spice to it but I'm gonna make it extra spicy and have add a serrano so we're gonna get some heat some Lay's potato chips for the side that's it that's all that's left some little pieces of chips and the end of the serrano it was amazing so good I know, I know what you, exactly what you're thinking. A fried egg on a fish sandwich? Well, I thought the same thing, but it came to my brain. Uh, it's like, you know, people put fried eggs on a hamburger. I, I figured, let's toss one on a fish sandwich. And it turned out to be amazing. I had a great time out here, but unfortunately, I ran out of time. And you guys know, dog days of summer can be some tough, tough fishing. So, guys, if you like the content, smash that thumbs up, hit that like button, it helped me out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I do these kind of fishing trips all the time, catching cooks all the time. I want to thank you guys for clicking on this video. And remember, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living. I'll catch you on the next one.